everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto. And today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. And it is Taco Tuesday, so there's a little bit of a hint. Um, I did wanna say thank you so much for all the support um, on my last video where I talked about uh, the decision that I made about my weight loss journey. I am now considered in maintenance for myself. And I am going to update you guys weekly on my weight. And that's really more for me because here's the thing. If you're new here, I already lost the weight once a few years back and I got very confident and thought that I could just go back to eating the way I was or I went into the dirty keto thing, a lot of packaged foods, gained it all back. So the way, like being accountable to you guys is, is to help me and it keeps me on track. I didn't do that before. You know what I mean? I didn't have anyone to answer to, so to speak. And I know I can do whatever I want, but I messed up before, you know? And I've already felt it since I've made this decision, that mind game that your mind plays on you, the tricks of you're where you want to be. You can have that snack. You can snack a little more. You can do this and that. And I'm already feeling those thoughts creep back in which is so weird. The brain is a crazy thing and I'm gonna be fine, but it will it will help keep me accountable. So I thought I would do my weigh-ins every what I eat in a day video. So today is Tuesday. Um, the I will be filming my what I eat in a day different days, but it's usually like the middle of the week, Tuesday or Wednesday that I do it. Um, but wouldn't you know it, I've been on dairy. This is my second day now and I'm 150 pounds. I'll put that up for you guys to see. I lost a pound. Well, actually two pounds. I was 152. I can't believe it. Um, but that just goes to show you my body fluctuate. It really, it fluctuates. It just kind of hovers around this like five pound, you know, um, five pounds that I am usually sitting around, but I thought that was funny. Um, Sorry about that. So I'm feeling a little bit bloated today and it could be from my cheese that I had yesterday. I don't know, but I'm not going to stop eating cheese. I think my body's just readjusting. <laughs> I'm not stopping. It's that's not happening. Um, but so that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm very excited about it. For those of you who are new, I will put a before and after picture up for you guys. Cause I want you to see, I mean, I didn't have a whole heck of a lot weight to weight to lose but I wasn't happy with myself. And secondly, my health was declining too. I don't have any major health issues, but I um, have high blood pressure. It is something that actually runs in my family. So I am continuing on my medication and stuff because even no matter how well I'm doing, um, it still tends to have its moments where it cre creeps up and stuff. So I'm just the type of person that I'm taking it. It's a free prescription for me, so yeah. So, but I feel great. I, yeah, things are good. So it's, it is exciting to be like, I'm in maintenance mode. So yay, it's exciting. Um, but today is a, oh, what I eat in a day. And I didn't plan very well for it. I think it's still gonna be a good one. You guys are gonna like it because it is Taco Tuesday. Um, but both of my meals are gonna involve Taco Tuesday, just so you know. Two different, completely different things though, so don't worry. Um, but I won't yak much more. I also wanna thank you guys for joining us for our live the other night. That was so much fun. I don't know why we don't do it more. Um, we'll try, we'll try at least once a month, right? At least once a month. Um, but it is so much fun to kind of talk to you guys live right then and there. It's so fun and I had a really good time. So thank you for those joining. Thank you for those. Um, that have commented since we're getting a lot of RV name channel names. Um, we've got a handful of favorites. We've looked a couple of them up and some are already taken, but stay tuned because I'm on the community tab. I'll probably put a poll up soon. I'm going to let you guys help us decide on what it's going to be. And Andy might get started on that channel soon. So stay tuned, but let's get into what I eat in a day. All right guys, for lunch today, I'm gonna finish up, it is Taco Tuesday, I'm gonna finish up um, my taco shells. At least one for lunch, and I have one more left, and I'm surprisingly gonna eat it for dinner too, but a different meal, you'll see. 
but I get these at Aldi's. Um, that's the Aldi brand, but they also have another brand. Like you can get them at Publix and other stores. They're, they're getting very much, um, they're getting around in the stores, but it tells you on the back how you want to cook it too. So we're going to heat it in a microwave on a plate. We want the parchment side paper down for about a minute and a half. Mine needs to go really more like two minutes. So I'll show you what it looks like. After. Okay, so here is the cheese shell when it comes out of the uh, uh, microwave oven. I'm going to wrap it around here. Um, you guys have a lot of tips of some good things for that. I can't remember them all right now, but this one seems to work the best for me. I just have my rolling pin in and then um, I lay it over here, but you gotta be really careful. It's super hot. I gotta balance it too. Um, and then I have to pull off the, oh, the paper, look at this. It's working for me. I paid it a little extra money to work, work out for me. That never happens, by the way. I usually need two hands to do that. And then I just kind of dab some of the extra grease off just cause I don't know why I just do it. And now we're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes because the longer it sits, the crispier it's gonna get. And now I'm just getting my fix-ins ready and stuff. So I'm warming up the rest of my taco meat, which is tofu. All right, so here's what the cheese shell looks like after it's been sitting for a little bit. Pretty cool, right? And so I've got my tofu meat and then all my toppings. I'm gonna make this right now and I'll show you what it looks like. Look at that, Taco Tuesday for lunch, guys. This is what I'm having, so. This should fill me up and then I can't wait to show you what I'm having for dinner tonight. Hey guys, this part of the video is sponsored by Element. So I wanted to say thank you to Element for sponsoring today's video. Um, we are so appreciative of having Element um, to help us in our journey of losing weight, maintenance, all of that. It is so helpful. And it's so funny because the other day I uh, woke up in the middle of the night with a terrible Charlie horse in my calf. How many of you guys have those or in your thigh? And it's like, you just can't move until you get that out. And then I thought about it, I'm like, why? And I hadn't had electrolytes for like two days in a row. And so I'm like, this thing is real. This is real. It really does help you replenish what you need and make sure that your muscles are recovering. So um, today I am going to have watermelon salt. I'm about to get ready to work out but I like to get this ready because I want it to all soak together with the water. And <coughs> whoa, just be careful when you open it because the powder, it'll get you. It'll get you when you inhale it. But the watermelon salt is delicious. I love all the flavors, actually. I think every time I talk to you guys, I've got it in my handy dandy element mug. Um, every time I talk to you guys, I think I have a favorite. But Man, I know I can count on them to replenish my sodium with 1,000 milligrams, my potassium, 200 milligrams, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And the other thing about it is it dissolves very quickly. There's no powdery, no chunks, nothing like that. So uh, they have offered you guys a great deal. And if you already know about this deal, even better, because it's for you too. If you make any purchase off of their website using my link, which is Mission I do that every time. I'm just so excited to tell you my link. It is drinklmnt.com slash mission keto. Um, you will get a free sample pack with any purchase. Whoa, I can't even hold it. I'm so excited. But it'll come in this little envelope just like this. It comes with all eight of their flavors for you to try and to see which one is your favorite. And it even tells you, find your favorite. And it also tells you on the other side, it kind of gives you tips and tricks on the best way to start out using it because it is salty. I mean, it is electrolytes after all. You're putting sodium in your body. Um, so this is very helpful. So if you are interested, definitely purchase using my link down below. I would appreciate it. I love it when you guys help sponsor the, um, my sponsors, you help my sponsors out, which in return helps me out. So thank you so much. Again, that link will be down below. It is drinklmnt.com slash mission keto. Thanks so much. Let's get my workout on. All right, we are back and it is dinner time and I just got done with my workout and it was a good one. It feels so good. 
If you ever want to know the workouts that I do, I do post every day when I work out and I link the uh, workout that I do online. So I know a few of you have asked, so just wanted to make sure you knew. Um, but I am going to make the, in the theme of Taco Tuesday, babe, I had a cheese taco and finished the tofu meat, and then now I'm having the stir fry tacos. In the spirit of Taco Tuesday, I decided to go with the egg life wraps. I'm gonna try to air fry them and make them maybe a little crispier or do like a tostada kind of thing. Um, but I'm taking this idea from my friend, Lindy from Paleo Barbie Does Keto. If you guys aren't following her, you need to because she comes up with some amazing recipes. She's got her own e-cookbook too, but she had this today. She did find it. Remember in the grocery haul, I said, I hope you found it. She did find it. And she said she put these in the air fryer and cooked them up. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I guess I'll mix the seasoning with it after. I didn't ask her too much more. I don't have any more shredded lettuce, but I don't want this to go bad. So I'm going to kind of shred this up myself. And then we'll have some sour cream, of course. I don't think I'm going to do cheese, which is surprising. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it would go well on here. And then I absolutely love the Siete brand and I found this and I absolutely love it, the jalapeno um, hot sauce. So I've got my air fryer heating up. First, I'm gonna cook these, show you what it looks like after, and then, um, then we'll try this in there too. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, real quick, I wanna just show you how I did this because I don't have any like uh, parchment paper or any like the sheets that fit in the air fryer right now. I'm working on getting some of those but I went ahead and found this in there. This is what I make my pizza bowls in. So I just threw it in there frozen. I threw a little oil in there and I put the seasoning packet in there. So once it's all defrosted and starting to cook, it will, um, we'll be able to stir it up and everything. So it's beeping, it's ready to go. We're gonna stick it in the air fryer now. Okay, so it is done, the shrimp stir fry. Let me pull it out of here and show you what it looks like. So I think it looks pretty good. What I like about it though, when you cook in the air fryer and I added that little bit of oil, it actually gave it like a little bit of like a, a gravy or something, a sauce, you might might say. So that's that, and that's gonna cool for just a bit. I like how it got a little bit crispy too. And this is that good pink Argentine shrimp, the red Argentine shrimp, so it is not cooked. So that's why it's important um, that you do that. So we're gonna let this cool. Now I'm gonna work on the I'm gonna put the egg life wraps in the air fryer and just see what happens. I'm not gonna to be too picky though. And then I cut up my lettuce and I found some cilantro. Don't mind Ralphie, somebody's outside. Um, I found some cilantro in the fridge too and I thought that would be a nice addition with the sour cream lettuce and the jalapeno hot sauce. So let's get the uh, egg life wraps fried up. All right, so one of them is done. And as you can see, it's still pliable, but there is a little crisp to it. So just make it how you would want it if you want it a little bit crispier. But I think I like because it's still a little bit pliable um, to make it almost taco-ish. So while the other one is cooking, I'm not gonna put a lot of the sauce in here that is in the tray because I just don't want it. And I'm gonna have other plans. And this whole container is two servings. So we'll see if I get two servings out of it because I might eat it all. Okay, and then we want a little bit of lettuce, at least I do. You can top it with whatever you want. Some cilantro. A little bit of sour cream. And then this jalapeno. Ooh, yeah. So let me make the other one and then we'll go sit at the table and do a taste. Well, look at that, I got my little remote and it worked. Um, so, I thought I would come over here, kind of change the view up a little bit and do my taste test. Um, these look delicious. So you saw that first one that I made. The second one was a little bit bigger and it had a mind of its own. It started puffing up and everything, but you could definitely do like a tostado, tostada kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let's do a taste. And real quick, I wanted to let you know that this is at Aldi's, but it's an Aldi find. So it's something that is only around occasionally. They had them last year. I stocked up on them. And when I saw them this past weekend, I was like, yes. Um, the whole container is two servings, but the whole container is eight total carbs. And you, it's pretty safe to say there's like a little bit of vegetables left, 
but I'm pretty much eating the whole thing. So eight total carbs. Um, plus I have like the cilantro and the sour cream and so maybe 10 carbs because I don't really count a lot of vegetable carbs. So here we are. Cheers. Let's try it. Mm. <clears throat> that is delicious. It's been so long since I've had that. The seasoning is so delicious. The egg life wrap, I mean, it's taking on the flavor of this too. Normally the egg life wrap is just kind of eh, you know, but it's actually really good. And these plain ones are zero carbs. So if you're looking for something, I mean, you could totally make this yourself if you can't find it at Aldi's. Just like a taco seasoning packet and then some peppers, onions, seasonings, and some shrimp or chicken. So that is what is for dinner tonight. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, um, share, subscribe if you haven't already. You know, there's a whole percentage of you guys that watch and don't subscribe. And I've seen other creators mention this too. So just hit the subscribe button, help your creators out. We're trying to grow our channels and we would really, really appreciate it if you would. So that is everything today. Um, I will see you on the next one. Let's see if I can shut it off with the button. Bye.